Hello guys, this is the first of all of my uh, tutorials in uh, Python. Oops, sorry about that. Um, yeah, the first part of this tutorial, well, the tutorials are all going to be numbered. This is number 1.1.1, .1 and that first number signifies the complexity of the tutorial. This number one signifies a tutorial that is basic or the, the basic tutorial videos. Number two is more for intermediate tutorials. And number three is all the advanced lessons. That's the first number, this first number here. Yep. The second number then signifies what part of that tutorial, right? So for number one, this signifies that it's a basic tutorial. This is part one of the basic tutorial. And let's say we switch it to two. This would now be basic tutorial because the first number is one. And part two of the basic tutorial. Yep. This third number is the video number of the part. So this 1.1.1 would be basic tutorial part one video one. Yeah, if we change that again, it'd be basic tutorial part two, video one. And let's change it again to advanced tutorial part two, video two of part two. And that will be the structure of my tutorial. For those of you who are already advanced learners or maybe even just understand the basics of another computer programming language this tutorial uh, a lot of the some some of the um videos in the parts are just videos of practice they're not really showing the syntax or anything so it may be better if you guys just skip some of the videos and just look at the syntax for anyone who's learning the basics all of the first tutorial all of the number one tutorials the basic tutorial parts are uh, exactly what you need to know if you have never come across a programming language in your life or maybe you you know dabbled in a programming lam language once upon a time but not you know you never really got proficient on it or you never really understood the syntax the basic tutorial is definitely for you the next thing i'm going to talk about is a either a text editor or an IDE, which is a piece of software. Well, an IDE is a piece of software that you would download in order to write computer programs. Uh, specifically, we want to download an IDE for Python. Normally, people doing tutorials would go through a download process, an installation and setup process. Um, I'm not going to do that because I found that people who are learning several languages sometimes will end up if, if they've watched several tutorials on several different programming languages will end up with lots of different pieces of software that they don't need when they could own uh, they only necessarily need one another problem is that i am actually on a windows computer you may be using a mac you may be using a linux distribution you may be using tails or even a custom os and I can't actually advise you on the install. I can advise you on the download because most of it's just a download button. But I cannot in advise you on the install and the setup. And the other thing is that you see how it says Atom 1.40.1. This is a version number of the Atom IDE. When they release version 1.80.1, for example, if they ever release that version, which could happen, it may be that my download and install and setup uh, guide is completely null and void because the new version is installed and set up in a completely different way. So it makes more sense for you guys to actually f find out about IDs on your own and go through the install and the setup through the documentation or you know just through the websites that that provide these kind of IDEs now the things that I'm clicking through here are all various uh, IDEs or the, the the things you can use Python with this Atom is one of them I would recommend Atom to be honest and uh, I'd, I'd install some kind of plugin so that you can use Python Eclipse as well you can use a plugin for 
Python with Eclipse, Visual Studio. I wouldn't really recommend it personally, at least not the free version, because it's just terrible. And if you're paying for the pro version, you're probably working in tech or you already know how to program and you don't really need to learn an install. I would definitely recommend Anaconda because it contains Python as well as a bunch of modules and packages for Python. And it also contains R and other data science tools. You could also just download the vanilla Python itself and use Python um, to run your scripts. It's just that I don't really find this as useful as an IDE for the writing, but it'll serve. You could use Spider as well, and you could use Notepad to write all of your code into and then run it on you know just python itself so that's as much as i'll go into in the download and install sorry about that but as i as i say you know i i can't really advise you but i've given you a few different options as you can see here that i'm clicking on yep now i'm going to introduce to you a concept in python known as print so here's my anaconda python I'm set up here in Spider. I'll put my author name and I put other things down. And I'm going to show you a function known as print because this is one of the first lessons you ever learn. So we put down the word print, and print is a keyword followed by brackets. Now, if you notice, as soon as I type in Spider the IDE, it actually puts open and close brackets for me some ides don't actually do this and you'll end up putting the opening bracket this first bracket here and then you'll have to put the closing bracket yourself so just keep that in mind depends on your ide and then inside here i put some double quotation marks and inside of these double quotation marks i'm going to write hello world yep i'll save this program i actually saved it as but I'm going to save it now and I'm going to run it and here we'll see the results of it so print hello world and as you can see it's printed here hello world I'll prove that it'll print both of these statements by printing something else so I'll print print itself And I'll also print uh, just some complete nonsense, just to show you that it's printing what I say and not just pirating itself, if that makes sense. Now, I'll show you how to make a few shapes. So, double quotations as per, maybe... Uh, a P. I'm going to get rid of these print statements here. And then I'm going to print double quotation marks and two spaces and then another P. And then for my next print statement you can you can print two, three, four spaces, P. And then we'll print two spaces in P and then we'll print just P and this should come out as a kind of weird triangle you'll see what I mean when we print it out and if you see here we've got our odd triangle now one thing I want you to notice is that these spaces it looks like it's just separated the p and it's just given a bunch of space in between p and the start of this line it actually hasn't it's actually printed out four individual spaces you see how i can highlight the first one the second one the third one the fourth one in this third line print four spaces and p once again the second line there's two spaces and i can see that there by highlighting them so P isn't just making spaces, it's actually printing those spaces out individually. That's more or less just the basics of the print function. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the first Python tutorial.